if you've got a rear deamister that only partially works on a Skoda Fabia Mark 1, you might want to try and fix it instead of having to buy a whole new screen. In this video, I'm going to attempt to do that. A couple of weeks ago, when it was really frosty, I turned my demisters on and it wasn't working in a couple of places, as you can see here, with only six of the lines working. So what you can do is identify where the brakes are. There's one just here, and another one, and try and repair them with some electrical contact paint that's specifically designed to work on these. So you need to open up the boot and look on the inside as that's where they're attached. This is of course one of the main failings of these surface type of demisters as when we overfill the luggage compartment we often overlook closing the hatch up against things and potentially damaging the demister line elements. There's a number of ways to locate the brakes in the element lines. First, turn the demister on when it's fogged or iced up, enables you to log which lines you need to look at. In my case, it's the 1st, 6th, 7th, 8th, 10th, 11th, 12th and 13th. If it's not working at all, check the fuse, then the wiring by the hinge and the glass connections. Mine's a 20 amp fuse in position 39, just here. Rarely it can be the relay housed here in the voltage control unit under the driver side dash. You can also let it heat up and feel which lines are warm or cold but don't burn yourself. The best device in my opinion is an automotive test light as these are quick and easy to use but you can use a multimeter to test faults or ohms. Attach the crocodile clip to a good clean ground. I'm using the back of the wiper motor as I've got the panel off. Start the car and turn the demister on. Test each line at the side first and the light should indicate. And when I come to the eighth known fault line and move further into the middle, the light goes out. So I'll trace back until it comes on again. When I've pinpointed that where the brake is, You want to put a mark on the glass, or just next to it. This is a clear break, but sometimes it's not as clear cut as that. The light may dim in some parts and then brighten up further on. This will also indicate a break, which would need further visual inspection. And this is what you should expect to see with the multimeter set to volts. Again, you can pinpoint where the brake is. And then a visual inspection of the outside of the glass, in this case with a bit of sunlight, can highlight the discoloration just where the brake is, which in this case is quite clear. But it's not always as clear cut as that. So that's why you do an electrical test and a visual test. Gently clean the area to be painted with some isopropyl alcohol. Mask off the area as close to the line as you can possibly get. Make sure you stir the paint thoroughly. and then apply to the break in the line. Wait for that coat to dry. Repeat the process over the whole rear screen and the product says to apply two to three coats. So I applied three coats and left it to dry thoroughly. And it... Oh. Um, doesn't seem to have worked. I was sure that would work. I'm sure I've applied it correctly. Left it to dry long enough. Applied a number of coats. No, this doesn't seem to be conducting anything at all. Well, I'm quite disappointed with that. 
The last time I repaired one of these was well over 12 years ago and that did actually work. Not sure what I can do now. I'm either applying it wrong or the glue's not just up to scratch. I'm sorry I'm not able to show you that this method fully works. I'm sure it's just a question of acquiring the right conductive paint. Anyway, I hope this helped you with a method to identify where the brakes are in the demister and a potential way to fix them. Although in my case, not being particularly successful. I will try and find out what's gone wrong here and possibly revisit this in a later video. So for now, thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Music